right, we're going to try this one again. I have previously recorded this uh, solution to a question from the homework, um, but I made a computational error and I wrote a 30 instead of a 33 here. So this is question nine from section 6.5. And uh, it's, it's more of a difficult question, I would say, but it boils down to using the law of signs here from the very beginning. So I've got it set up according to one of the students' problems. Um, sets of numbers. We've got side W, which is 33, sides V and U, which are 25, and this angle, which is 30 degrees. Um, so you use the law of signs in this right triangle to start setting things up. Um, I, I wrote down certain things like this. Um, so Y is going to be this angle, DCA, which is something we're looking for. And X is this angle, BCD, which is also something we're looking for. Um, but first of all, I'm going to try and find this, this angle C, D, A, or the measure of W. Um, so I set up the law of sines, sine of 30 divided by the opposite side equals the sine of this angle divided by its opposite side. And this is where I made a mistake. I wrote 30 instead of 33. Um, so that means that if we take the inverse of this, um, we can get this unknown angle. So we either get that it is 41.29987 or because there is another angle with that same sine value, um, we get, and I was just doing the math on this one, we get 180 minus that 41. Okay, that is 138. Point seven. And at this point, it, it doesn't seem like we have a contradiction. We have, um, we've now just discovered this angle W could be one of two possibilities. And so we either have that this is 41 or it's 138.7. Uh, and that's 0 0.7013. Um, so now, what is angle Y? Well, we're going to find angle Y by subtracting 30 plus this or 30 plus this. And so we're going to get a big angle and a small angle. So 180 minus 41.29987 minus 30. So our first option, according to this choice of angle W, gives us for an angle uh, Y, 108. Point seven, and it's point seven zero zero one three. Uh, I'm going to leave it out for now. The other one is 180 minus 30 minus 138.70013, and that gives us 11.9987. It's like two. Nine nine eight seven, and there's there's more decimals even after that. So now the question is, which one is it? So we're going to continue along. Uh, we don't know much about these, but we're going to continue along, and one of these has to be a contradiction. Okay, and I think we might be able to see this contradiction right away. Um, so we are. We're going to go ahead and, and use this one first for W. And that means this one is going to be this one up here, Y. So let's see if I can just bring these up here. That's gonna be our angle. And W I am not working from home today, so I'm having to do this on a laptop and it's, it's orders of magnitude more difficult. <laughs> So here we go, that's this angle. And I'm gonna go ahead and 
chop it off at 138.7 degrees. Okay. All right, we still have these other two possibilities, so I'm going to tuck these away. Um, to the side here. And then everything else I'm going to delete. Clear some space. So this is W. And this is the corresponding Y if W is that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just, um, we're going to um, look at these angles Z. So if we've got W is 138.7, then what do we know about, um, about angle Z? Well, the Z and W are straight line angle, right? So we've got this, this summation of these two, which should be 180 degrees. So Z, um, uh, well, angle ADC is just 180 minus C, or angle Z here is just 180 minus this. So if we take that, 180 minus 138.7. That gives us 41.3, which is what we had over here for W. So this should be 41.3 degrees as well. And if you remember a little bit of geometry from high school, we've got an isosceles triangle here which means both these angles down here are the same. And this can tell us then right away what um, angle X is, because we just have to subtract uh, 180 minus twice Z, right? So 180 minus two times 41.3 is 97.4. Okay, so that's this angle. Now, real quick, before I even do anything further, um, what would happen if we if we didn't choose 138.7 degrees for this W? What if we instead chose this 41.3? Okay, so if this is 41.3, what's angle Z? Angle Z is 138.7 both these base angles need to be the same, which means they're both 138.7, but that's impossible because then if we start adding up the angles inside this small triangle, we have already an angle sum bigger than 180. It's like 276, 277.4 degrees already. Like that's, that's way too big. So we can right now already say, nope, these are not possible, okay? Okay, and uh, you know, with that, we've already got our possible answers, don't we? Because I think the, the question is just asking for angle X and it's just asking for angle Y. So we've got them. Now I rounded everything down, you know, to four decimals. I'm not sure if everything would round the same for you with your calculator. Because um, I did some computations after rounding and that's never a good thing. Um, what you should make sure you do is keep as many decimals as possible until the very end. So double check that these tenths might be the same or different for you. If you're doing this problem with a different set of numbers, well then you're gonna have to, you're gonna have different angles anyway, but you should be able to follow the same pattern, the same process. Um, and it, you might get two possibilities, but you'll have to rule one out. Now the main idea was we used law of signs to discover the possible angles here. Then we used the straight line angle here to find this angle. Then we used, in two different cases, the, the fact that the sum of interior angles of a triangle add to 180. We did that here to find angle X. We also did that in this triangle for angle Y. And we were making sure that we weren't having any contradictions like what I did, what I showed here for this one. So that's it, okay? Uh, I hope that helps. And if you have any more questions, uh, please just go ahead and shoot me an email and ask, okay? Okay, until next time.